Good morning guys, it's Jack and Mads. <laughs> and Mads is doing it solo. <laughs> We are in Chesky Krumlov. Fun fact, we're actually staying in the square that is fully a UNESCO World Listed Heritage Site. Damn, nice memory. And we stayed uh, just back there, just over there. And they have Christmas markets here, they even do. though it's the 28th of December. Mads is doing her uh, research before she tells you guys what's going on. Jack's a paramedic. He's going to tell you something really fun about About what? Choose. That I choose? Yeah, the birth canal. The birth canal. Well, we spoke about how babies, yeah, but how babies um, are too, like how their livers and kidneys are not um, able to function at full capacity, and that's why they become Jordanist, because they don't have the support of the mother <laughs> during utero anymore. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> <laughs> we are now coming up to the state castle here in Chesky Krumlov. Fun fact, there's a moat out the front and they actually had brown bears in there instead of water to protect them. And they still have one bear there. Probably not from is... like the 1800s. Yeah, probably not. Otherwise, I'd, I'd be very impressed. I'd say he's been replaced a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> but our trip leader was telling us last night and we were like, no, you're pulling our legs. Like, there's no bears in there. There's an actual brown bear in there. I oh, you not. <laughs> so that's where we're heading now. You can't get into the square of Chesky Krumlov by a car. Even though we've seen cars around here. Yeah, which is weird. couldn't. Yeah. Because the streets are all cobblestone and like this wide. And very small. <laughs> <laughs> like you will get run over. I reckon, like Mike could, I reckon Mike could get the bus in. He's a very skilled bus driver. He is, he's very skilled. It's also, I think like one degree. Yes, my fingers are cold holding this camera. <laughs> <laughs> Cameraman. <laughs> Cameraman. Yes. No. Yes. No. Uh huh. No. Here we yes. have some pigeons. So this is where the bears are kept in the moat. During Christmas time, they bring them out and they eat Christmas pastries, which I think is just croissants. But you can see over there, he's got his whole little stash of vegetables as well. And Madison, what was the uh, purpose of the bear in the moat? Uh, to protect the castle from any enemies that come in. Sorry, instead of water. Oh, there's a cat! <laughs> Damn, that's game going into the bloody bear cage. What the hell? Yeah, so the bears are basically kept here to protect from any enemies that would try and come in. I solo, I run solo, I run solo, I run solo, solo. Yeah, man. See what I've had to put up with. Hey! <laughs> I'm doing it solo anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's 28 of us now. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. What do you think of the area? Besides Venice, this is probably my favourite city and we're actually spending like the least amount of time here as well. Very grateful that we actually got to stay in the morning because usually we would just like leave at 8 o'clock but we don't leave here until like 1ish. I really wish I could get the drone up but one, it's tucked away in my bag in the bus and two, it's a UNESCO World Heritage listed site so you can't actually fly your drone in areas like this. It's real lovely. It's real lovely. <laughs> <laughs> to just get straight in the shin with all the hockey sticks. Yeah, yeah, and then you just take out. Yeah. Hello team. We're back with another walk through. How do you say this place's name? Chesky Krumlov. Someone did their research. <laughs> Chesky yes, Krumlov. Yes, did on the walk up. And um, we've just seen a nice big castle and a nice view. And yeah, that's it's us. It's still also very cold. Tom's ears, my Hope fingers and nose. Off. Pulled out the gloves. Yeah, smart. Hey, look out. Yeah. Our bus has just gotten here and we have a three hour trip to Prague. So I guess I will see you guys there. We've just made it to Prague and we're actually staying at the cutest little hotel. It is called the Don Giovanni. Misha and I were just saying like how lucky we are to have gotten like all the cool rooms. A lot of the people have had like really bad showers or 
in this case, really bad views. But this is our bathroom. We actually get a bath. We're going to be sharing a bed together again. And this is our view. So cute. We've got a couple hours to chill and then we're going to head in to do a walking tour of Prague, which will be interesting. And then probably just grab some dinner. So I'll see you guys when we're actually in the city centre. Hey guys, <laughs> we are going on a walking tour in Prague. And we need to catch the metro down there. So we're going to jump off this really fast thing that scares me. <laughs> Old Square in Prague, and look, guys, it's like an evil castle. It's like a Disney It is. It's like the Halloween version. We've just had dinner, and we've come down to a place called Good Food to get these chimney cakes. Yum. Tom has said that the best ones are here in Prague and apparently these are the best in Prague get. no matter what. So we got the Paris, yes. which is chocolate, strawberries and a little gingerbread man, which isn't mine because I already ate mine and now it's Kira's. Yes. Don't look at my chimney cake. And I'm <laughs> yeah, Tom's devoured his. Ah, I'm like okay. saving mine for you guys, but now I'm going to go eat it. Yum. Welcome to day two in Prague. Jack and I are down here at the laundromat waiting to get our clothes washed. You guys, what a rip. It was 13 Aussie dollars to do a wash for these guys because they use the 16 kilogram washing machine. And I actually haven't converted how much mine costs. I don't really want to. Game plan for the day is wash and dry clothes and then head back into Prague because last night it got pretty dark and I didn't want to show you guys in the dark when I knew we were going to <laughs> come back in the morning. And we have a medieval dinner tonight. Which yeah, we, yeah, we do. I'm so excited for that. I'm so excited. It cost 132 Aussie dollars. But when I was talking to the girls, they put it into perspective because it's like a show as well. It's not just a meal. Mm. So it's a five course meal. There's like magicians, fire dancers. What else is there, Jack? There's a lot of fire apparently. A lot of what? Fire. A lot of fire. Flame throwing. Flame throwing. So it's like an actual show rather than just like one meal. So it's worth it. Definitely. Jack's vegan, by the way. What the hell? You know what we should do for a video? What? Going vegan, vegan for a for day. 24 hours. Or you should do... And you can do it with me. Yeah, sounds well, good. I mean, you have to. <laughs> we could totally do that. Do you want to do it? Veganuary. You should do veganuary. Veganuary. Yeah. But I won't be with you, so I won't have the willpower. I'm also going to be in America. Oh, no, you, you can't be vegan in America. <clears throat> no. Have you seen what they do to people at Karen's Diner? No. Like, oh, yes. vegans? Oh, or no. gluten free or veggies or anything? No. Oh my Ex god. What's Karen's Diner? Karen's Diner is this little <laughs> restaurant like <laughs> diner place. They've got them in like the US, the UK, Australia, but they don't have any in Perth, but they're over east. Um, and you go in and it's, it, the servers just act rude to you the <laughs> whole time. Um, and the, the like logo is the Karen emoji, like with the hair and everything. It's really cool. Anyway, when a vegan goes in there or a vegetarian, they get everybody that's in the restaurant to boo you out. No. <laughs> yeah. So one of my friends was like, "Hey, we should go to Karen's diner." Hell no. <laughs> Never. So you should go to Karen's diner and say you're vegan and then record it for the peoples. Should I? You should. I'll do it in New York. Do it. <laughs> and then I'll walk back in and be like, no, give me the meat. Actually, no, I think they do have one in Perth, but I'm not going to it. We should go. No. So I've decided I'm going to go to Perth Hell when yeah. I get home and we're going to go to Karen's Diner. No! <laughs> no, we're going to go to Rottnest Island, see some quokkas, take a selfie with them, then go down to Margaret River, go to the wineries and go to the chocolate factory, then go up to Ningaloo, probably Exmouth or Coral Bay, go whale shark swimming, scuba diving, 
and we're gonna swim with sharks in the shark cage. That's I'm so doing. excited! So stay tuned, peoples. Yeah, I've just adopted Jack. Hell yeah. Well, technically you're adopting me because I'm coming over to you. <laughs> We're going to wait for our washing, put it in the dryer, and then head into the actual city of Prague. So, we'll see you guys in there. Hey team, we're here back at the markets in Prague for an exciting afternoon out. We've just got some mini pancakes, which looks absolutely delicious. We're about to share them, and uh, I'm very excited and very hungry at the same time. <laughs> we got banana and raspberry puree. Do you reckon I can feel that all over there? Yeah, yeah, do it. No one's watching. All of YouTube's watching. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. We're currently in Prague in a, um, there's this dumpling spot which is vegan for our friend Jack over here. And it is quite delicious, I can confirm. I'm a few mouthfuls in. We've got the chilli sauce and life's great. If I'm wrong, I'll put the name here, but I'm pretty sure it's called the Good Dim Sim or something. The Good Sum. I got half pumpkin peanut and half chicken and chives, so very excited. We have come into the city of Prague and we're actually in the Old Town Square. I will insert a clip so that you guys can actually hear me talking, but the clock in front of me is the only astronomical clock in the world that is actually functioning and the man who built it and constructed it was purposely blinded so that he couldn't recreate another one of these. Um, it was restored this year, so it is still working. This is the St. Vitus Cathedral. It is the largest and most important temple in Prague. Many coronations took place for previous kings and queens here, and it is also a burial site of several saints. This bridge here is called Charles Bridge. It was named after King Charles number four back in 1870. <laughs> we are at uh, this thing. Uh, it is the Charles Bridge. The Charles Bridge. Thank you, camera woman. Constructed in the 1400, and there is old mate over there, King Ch no, Charles, um, and they spend millions of dollars supposedly on scrubbing his statue. If you want to spend 20 million dollars on it, then that's fine. So yeah, and now we're on a lovely bridge. A lovely bridge. <laughs> Uh, with all these people. Oh, it's actually packed. We've made it to the narrowest walkway in Prague. It is just 50 centimeters wide. <laughs> I feel like I have to tuck my shoulders in. They have red and green lights that you need to wait for to actually go through because it is that small that two people can't pass at the same time. Hi guys. <laughs> we do have our five course dinner in like four hours, but we had to get a chimney cake with ice cream this time. And a vegan option for Jack. Oh yeah. What did you get? We we're going to head to the Municipal Library of Prague to see the Tower of the Books. I think it's called like the Infinity Library, but the lineup is absolutely massive and we're not feeling it. So we're gonna go home, freshen up, and then come back out for the medieval dinner. I'm definitely going to bring you guys along <laughs> to that. It is free-flowing wine and beer. You don't have to be sorry. <laughs> you said sorry. It is free free-flowing wine and beer, so we are Yes it is. <laughs> <laughs> we said we're going to save ourselves for New Year's, but I feel like it's like... She's not saving herself for New Year's. <laughs> it's included, and I'm going to be a responsible... You can't say no to an included <laughs> drink. A responsible drinker. She says that now, but wait till we pull the camera out in a few hours. <laughs> that would be inappropriate. Ready? Would it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get on the metro. <laughs> Fine. Get on the and 
and we're, we're go and we're ready to hit the Long Island ice teas up with the random cash money we've got refunded. It's quite the opposite. I'm the sober one. You say so not, you say so no. Not. Takeover with me and Mish. Hi everyone. We're here down this side of this the uh, Misha, club. I'm Matt's roomie. You've told them that. You've told them. What have I? We've been there. We've been Bye. there, done that. Okay. <laughs> okay. But you know what? We need fire and I'm Long Island iced nice teas. I'm to myself. I am so much. But Mads is going to come out for more Long Island iced teas yeah. because she doesn't drink wine. No. We may have lost everyone. But we're down the bottom of a train. This is a half price ticket because we are pensioners. <laughs> this is old fart over here. <laughs> Decided to buy a half price ticket. <laughs> also, we just spent how much? Australian? 60 Australian dollars. 60 Australian dollars on, on two Long Island iced teas. The ANZ card says no. <laughs> We ran because there's one tram left for the night. Train. Metro. Bus. <laughs> <laughs> there's one metro left Pineapple. for the night. Pineapple. We kind of no, I fell over. Yeah, Misha, you, had, you had to pick me up. I had to pick you up. I picked you up. I picked Yikes. you up. I saved it. No worries, fam. He's Thanks. always saving me. Like Did and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Did I tell you about the time I ran in front of a red Corolla accidentally in Rome? And I had to jump in front of the car <laughs> to save it. Like, no joke, I jumped in front of a red Corolla <laughs> to save her from the car. He, like, fully grabbed my jacket was holding me back from like, this dumb red Corolla. It's pretty funny. Also, no one's here. judged hardcore right now. But yeah, it's but okay. we don't care. We're living our best life. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we'll make it back. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. My arm's getting sore because you guys are heavy. You guys are heavy. <laughs> She's pulling the weight of this YouTube channel, fam. You better lift the... Lift the lift, subscribers up. Lift the subscribers up high. Why do I always get such a bad angle on this? Because <laughs> you've got oh, to hold it out because it zooms uh, itself. Natural. And then you've got to look into the lens because that's uh, where the camera focuses. Focus. Yeah. Focus. Yeah. Success. We made it. <laughs> we made it on the metro. I don't the train. Think many other people made it. 